In this video, I am going to show you how to calculate confidence interval in Google Sheets. So there's two different ways that we're going to calculate the confidence interval and the different ways depends on what our sample size is. So if our sample size is less than 30, we're going to use T distribution to calculate the confidence interval. And if our sample size is larger than 30, we're going to use normal distribution. So the way that we're going to calculate each is very similar, but we use different functions for each. So this is my example data, and here I'm first going to calculate confidence interval with t distribution. So my sample size in this example is less than 30, so I will use t distribution. This is the basic formula for confidence interval. So it's sample mean plus or minus the t value that corresponds to that confidence level times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So that is what I will be calculating here. So there's a few things that I need before I can calculate the confidence interval. And what I'm going to calculate is the 95% lower range confidence interval and then the 95% upper range confidence interval. So there's a few things I need before I can make those calculations though and that's the average standard deviation and sample size. So I'm going to begin by calculating all of these. So average is just the average function And what I do is I just put in my cell range that contains my data in that function. So this is the average. Next, we're going to do standard deviation. And I'm just going to use the basic standard deviation function. And again, I just put in my data range into that function. Sample size, we're just going to use count. And again, just put in that same cell range that contains all of my data. Now, once I have the average standard deviation and sample size, then I can use this formula to do the calculation. So for this example, where the sample size is less than 30, I'm using t distribution. So the function I'm going to use is called the t inverse function. And we will also use the square root function in this calculation. So for the 95% lower range, what it's going to be is our sample mean, which is our average, minus, and then we have to do the t value that corresponds to the confidence level. So this is where I'm going to use the t inverse function and it's going to be sample size no sorry I need 0.975 for the confidence level and then it's going to be sample size minus 1 so in my example it's d3 minus 1 and then I'm going to put parentheses around that and multiply it by the standard deviation divided by the square root so I'll use the square root function of our sample size and then what I'm going to want to do is put this in parentheses and add my closing parentheses so again what it is is sample mean minus t the t inverse function and then I have 0.975 to represent the 95% confidence interval and then it's sample size minus 1 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size so that's the lower one now the upper 95% confidence interval is the same exact formula except instead of minus now we are adding and so that would be the calculation if our sample size is less than 30 
Now, if your sample size is greater than 30, it's a very similar calculation. But this time, instead of the t inverse function, we're going to use the norm dot s dot inverse function. And so in this example, I'm just going to pretend my sample size is larger than 30. It's actually the same data, but we need all of the same data points. So average, I'll put that in to the function. Then we need standard deviation. So I'll put this all range into the function and then we need the sample size. So I'll use the count and put that into the function. And then it is time for our formula. So this is going to be average. And then I'm going to use the function. So norm dot s dot inverse. And then in this one, you just put that 0.975 and then multiplied by the standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size. Then I'll add parentheses around this and that would be the lower one. And then the upper is again, the same exact formula, but instead of minusing that first one it is adding it and that would be the 95 percent lower and 95 percent upper confidence interval if your sample size is greater than 30. so those are the two different ways that you can calculate confidence interval in google cheats it seems a lot more complex than it is um, if you want to copy this formula or take your time learning it, um, I'm going to put a link to my website in the description of the video. And from there, you can see the exact formula if it's too hard to pause the video and try to see it. But that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.